Hey guys, how are you? David here. It is Saturday, November 15th, 2008. I believe the anniversary of the Xbox 360? No, Xbox One. Sorry, first Xbox. Totally off topic. Anyway, I'm here to do a product review. Um, I was sent the Koosh headphones, um, courtesy of buzzparadise.com, and Koosh.com for actually making the pro uh, product. And basically what it is, is it's headphones for the iPhone, iPod, Blackberry, Zune, whatever you use, it most likely works with it. So this video, um, I'm going to give my thoughts about what I thought about it. I use it all week going to and from class since I use my iPhone on a daily basis, obviously since it's a phone. And so yeah, let's get started right away. First off, I will talk about the case design. The Koosh arrived in a very minimal, nice case, a very Apple-like case, very... I guess classy type case. It's very small. Um, it's definitely green friendly, hence only plastic, and it doesn't take up that much um, extra plastic that it should. If that even makes sense. And it comes on this little canister, which is pretty neat. It sits in here, and it was actually sitting on a fake ear, which I thought was pretty cool. At least it looked like an ear. You pop it off, and you can see that there's an arm, arm, an orange rubber trim around here. Which is a nice little touch because, you know, that isn't necessarily necessary. I just said that twice. But it is a nice little touch to have a nice little rubber grip on there. And I'm a person that pays attention to little details like that. So I just thought that was really cool. And that's pretty much how it came. And the overall product design is not your usual earbuds. These are the type that go by the product's tagline, stays on, feels good. That's their quote for this product lineup. And basically, they're talking about these. They actually wrap around your ear. You put them on like regular earbuds, but then you wrap a, you uh, wrap the piece around your ear. So it stays on and feels good. And it does feel pretty good. You can put the left one in the left. And I will show you how they look. Sorry, that's my iPhone. And this is the overall design. I mean, I think the iPhone headphones that came with the iPhone look better because they're less obtrusive but these do stay on they don't look too bad it would have been nice if they were kind of transparent but they come in uh, white black and pink so male and female you both have your choices and also included is the onboard microphone for basically taking phone calls via your iPhone Blackberry or whatever else you use and it worked very well I couldn't test the microphone too much but I did call somebody and ask them how it sounded, and they said it, they said it sounded fine. So I'm guessing it's good enough to use on a daily basis. And it's an um, onboard microphone, so it's kind of hard to screw up. And I didn't, I didn't really notice anything different from the iPhone headset that I currently use. I can't show it right now because it's over there, and I don't feel like leaving the camera. So overall, it is nice. The only thing I did not like about the microphone is actually, um. It does not have an onboard volume control, which I was kind of hoping for, and I was very disappointed to see that it did not have an onboard volume control, because the ones that come with the iPhone, um, unfortunately, do not include the volume control. However, the ones that Apple's coming out with pretty soon, they do have an onboard, but this one does not. And if you listen, hold on, let me make a shake. You hear that plastic sound that's shaking? That is the plastic piece on the microphone itself because this actually has some ex um, extra it um, actually has a button for pausing and playing your music and you can skip to the next or previous song by clicking it once to pause twice to skip forward and three times to skip back nothing really new here since the iPhone headset already does this but it is a nice touch however the plastic feels a little cheap I feel they could have done a better job and the rattling you hear from the button kind of got distracting um, while I was listening to my music because obviously if you're walking or running this thing will make a lot of noise and like I said I pay attention to detail so I just kind of found that annoying however it's not that big of a deal that's just my personal preference overall the sound quality is good for the um, headphones price range which is about twenty dollars um, I didn't really notice a big difference from the Koosh versus the iPhone headset. 
but that's pretty much to be expected because it's the twenty dollar headset and they all pretty much sound the same. Um, especially in the terms of bass performance, bass was definitely lacking. There was a little bit of bass, but th you just I don't know. Obviously, shouldn't expect much from a headset like this. You're paying twenty bucks, you're gonna get what you pay for. But if you buy a hundred dollar earphones, headphones, earbuds, whatever you wanna call them, then you should pretty much expect good bass. But f but from these, expect average sound um, quality performance. Okay, so overall, I would say the Koosh headset is definitely worth looking into as a gift for somebody. But if you are already using the iPhone headset or another headset that has the same features as this, like an onboard microphone and extended playback control, then I wouldn't suggest ditching your current headset just yet for the Koosh. But if you're looking for a nice alternative with a wraparound um, design like the Koosh has, then I would suggest getting it. I guess it comes down to personal preference. Overall, the sound quality is pretty much the same. It has the same set of features. It all just comes down to comfort-wise, and these are pretty comfortable. Also, real quick, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. One thing I really did not like about the Koosh is, sure, it does stay on. And trust me, it's very hard for this to fall off because it's wrapped around your ear. So if you're, like, dancing or whatever, whatever you do in your life, this thing is definitely not going to fall off unless you fall down a flight of stairs which is pretty much doubtful. And if you do, I'm sorry to hear that. However, it does stay on, but this piece does tend to slip out, which is kind of annoying. So in a way, this piece is kind of pulling out the butt itself. So I found that kind of annoying. But then again, I'm picky about my products. And not to repeat myself, but overall, the Koosh is definitely worth it. I'm just not good at making these videos about reviews which is why I encourage you to check out my blog, thecreativeone.tv. The link is over there on the side of this video, the right side of this video. And I'm better at talking about products in the form of words from a keyboard rather rather than my voice because I tend to talk too much. So please check out that article, I mean that blog post if, if you are interested. And do check out the Koosh headset at koosh.com. It sells for $19.99 US. I believe they ship worldwide. I'm not totally sure, but I don't, I don't see why not. And it works perfectly fine with the iPhone, iPod, Blackberry, and any other um, music device that has music playback, obviously, and phone functionality, like talking on it and all that good stuff. So, um, check it out, kush.com, and check out my website, thecreativeone.tv. Thanks for watching.